On September 9, 2008, Apple introduced the fourth generation iPod Nano. It had a design more similar to the second generation, being taller and having an aluminum back. However, this iPod Nano had the same 2-inch display as the third generation. Apple achieved this by rotating the display portrait instead of landscape, and offered an accelerometer built in so that it could tell the rotation of the device, so you could rotate it portrait or landscape and it would automatically rotate. This accelerometer also allowed the new iPod Nano to come with stake to shuffle. The iPod Nano 4th generation was also the first iPod Nano to come in a 16GB storage option and have 8GB as the base option. On September 9, 2008, Apple introduced the 2nd generation iPod Touch. This introduced a redesign with a more curved body, which was actually thicker, although it looked thinner because of the curve. The iPod Touch 2nd generation with this thicker body was able to fit a larger battery, with longer battery life, as well as a faster processor. The iPod Touch 2nd generation was also the first iPod to come with a speaker. as well as a volume rocker. On March 9, 2009, Apple introduced the third generation iPod Shuffle. This was much smaller than the second generation iPod Shuffle, to the point where they can no longer fit the controls on the Shuffle itself. Apple actually moved the controls onto the right earbud wire. The third generation iPod Shuffle also came with text-to-speech technology, which allowed it to read out loud the names of songs while you were navigating through it. The third generation iPod Shuffle also came with a new 4GB storage option. While the fifth generation iPod Nano had the same dimensions as the fourth generation, it actually had a taller display at a 3 to 2 aspect ratio compared to the 4 to 3 of the previous iPod Nanos. It also came with many new features, including a video camera, which shot video at 480p, although it cannot take pictures a pedometer with Nike Plus support. It also came with a built-in speaker, as well as an FM radio. On September 9, 2009, Apple introduced the iPod Touch third generation in 32 and 64 gigabyte storage capacities, and lowered the price of the 8 gigabyte iPod Touch second generation to $199, making it the entry-level iPod. The main update in the iPod Touch third generation is was the performance. It was much faster than the second generation since it had the same chipset as the iPhone 3GS as well as 256 megabytes of RAM. This allowed it to support some of iOS's newer features. It also introduced a new display as you can see here with different colors. On September 9, 2009, iOS 4 introduced support for background images on the homepage as well as multitasking. These features were exclusive to the iPod Touch third generation and were not available on older iPods. On September 1st, 2010, Apple introduced the 4th generation iPod Shuffle. This had a similar design to the 2nd generation, although it was smaller and had a larger click wheel, being 18% larger, and of course it had voiceover capabilities like the previous iPod Shuffle. It also combined these two switches into one three-way switch. For the new iPod Nano, Apple made it look more like the iPod Shuffle, except with a touchscreen. This was 1.55 inches, and it was a square at a resolution of 240 by 240. It was complete with the clip from the iPod Shuffle, although they removed some of the features that they had introduced with the fifth generation. They removed the video camera as well as the speaker, and they also removed the ability to play video due to the fact that it was a smaller display. On September 1st, 2010, Apple introduced the fourth generation iPod Touch. This was the first iPod Touch to come with a Retina display at a four times higher resolution than the previous iPod at 640x960 compared to 320x480. And it also had a four times higher contrast ratio of 800 to 1 compared to 200 to 1. However, it was still a TN panel unlike the IPS panel in the iPhone 4. It was also the first iPod Touch to come with a built-in camera. This was a 0.7 megapixel 720p camera and it also came with a front-facing VGA camera for FaceTime. The iPod Touch 4th generation was also the first iPod Touch to come with an accelerometer, and it came with extended battery life. On October 12, 2011, Apple introduced the iPod Touch 4th generation in a white color option. 
While the design of the 6th generation iPod Nano was more based around that of the iPod Shuffle, the 7th generation's design was more based around that of the iPod Touch. It got rid of the clip and the square-shaped 1.5-inch display in exchange for a home button and a 2.5-inch widescreen. The new iPod Nano also reintroduced the ability to play video, although it did not reintroduce the camera or the speaker. It was also the first iPod Nano to have Bluetooth capabilities with Bluetooth 4.0, and it replaced the 30-pin dock connector with a lightning port. On October 12, 2012, Apple introduced the fifth generation iPod Touch. This came with a taller display being widescreen and at a 4-inch size. And it also came with a new anodized aluminum back compared to the stainless steel of the previous iPod. It was thinner and lighter, being only 6.1 millimeters thick and 80 grams. The display was also IPS instead of a TN panel like the previous iPod Touches. The fifth generation iPod Touch was the first iPod to come with the lightning port as well as Siri. And it also was the first iPod to come with a dual core processor coming with the Apple A5, as well as 512 megabytes of RAM. Apple also added a button to the back of the iPod Touch, which, when pressed, would pop out so you could attach a wrist strap called the iPod Touch Loop. The camera was refreshed with a 5 megapixel resolution on the back and a 1.2 megapixel resolution on the front. Now, this one actually does not have a back camera, and that is because on May 30th, 2013, Apple introduced the 16 gigabyte variant of the iPod Touch fifth generation, which did not have a rear camera or the iPod Touch loop, and was only available in silver. On June 26, 2014, however, Apple re refreshed the 16 gigabyte model, giving it the camera and the iPod Touch loop, and also decreased the price to $199 and decreased the price of the bigger storage options. On July 15, 2015, Apple introduced the 6th generation iPod Touch. This had the same design as the 5th generation, although the camera was improved to have an 8 megapixel resolution and be capable of recording 1080p video. The front camera was pretty much the same, however. And the main improvement was the Apple A8 instead of the Apple A5, which was an improvement in clock speed, a 64-bit processor, and a total of five times faster. It also included one gigabyte of RAM instead of 512 megabytes. This was also the first iPod Touch available in a 128 gigabyte storage option, although this was exclusively on the Apple website. On July 27th, 2017, Apple discontinued the iPod Shuffle and iPod Nano and made the iPod Touch 6th generation the last remaining iPod available. This also received a price cut making its base storage option the 32 gigabyte and the higher option the 128 gigabyte. On May 28, 2019, Apple replaced the iPod Touch 6th generation with the iPod Touch 7th generation, which is pretty much the exact same, with the exception of the processor being upgraded from the Apple A8 to the Apple A10, as well as the RAM being upgraded from 1 gigabyte to 2 gigabyte and the availability of a 256 gigabyte storage option.